What's up everyone, this is Horan from iGuessWall and uh, today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to record the 4K ProRes RAW on the brand new iPhone 17 Pro. And uh, before we begin, I just wanted to let you know that you cannot do 4K ProRes RAW from the camera app. So if you were to go in this and uh, you would see the options, you won't have the 4K ProRes RAW showing on the native camera app. So you will need to install either the Final Cut camera or the Blackmagic cam to record in 4K ProRes RAW, which is the highest format available from the iPhone for the very first time. So let's begin with opening the Final Cut Pro and you can see it says that the ProRes RAW requires recording to the external storage drive. You cannot record the ProRes RAW on the internal storage because of the file sizes are huge and the data rate it requires really fast. Even though iPhone has a really fast read and write speeds for the storage, but still you will need external drive because of the size, because a lot of people are getting 256 or 512 gig. That's not enough for a 4K ProRes RAW to host the files on your internal storage. And it also produces so much heat. So we're gonna be using the SanDisk two terabyte external drive. It is pretty slim and lightweight. And what I'm gonna be using it to connect with the iPhone is this dongle. I'll put the link in the description for this one. It is 40 Gbps, even though you will only need 10 Gbps speeds, but this is enough headroom. So I'm gonna be showing you how I'm gonna do that. So let's begin with connecting the hard drive first to the phone. So all you have to do is take this dongle, Make sure that you're not facing the port forward, you're facing the port in the back. You can also use the USB drive. Just connect directly the cable that comes with the Samsung T7 or even the SanDisk come with a cable. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep it minimalistic and without any interruption kind of setup. So I will just place the drive here. You can see the USB type C and it will just snap onto this like this and see it is not going anywhere now so this is the perfect you know rig i have set up now with any without any wires cables running around interrupting and you can see how sturdy it is it's not going anywhere you can shake it and now let me show you let me unlock my phone and show you how it is recognized and make sure the device that you connect is formatted in the xfat format because if it's not formatted in the xfat your iPhone will not read it and also your computer will have a struggle if it is formatted in the Apple format. So make sure that it is formatted in the XFAT. I have it right here, iPhone EXT. Just hold iPhone EXT, which is my hard drive that I connected, the SanDisk, and you can erase it and you can select the format. If you do the APFS, then the Windows PC will not read it. If you have Apple system everywhere, you have MacBook, then you can go with APFS, which is the faster uh, formatting for the file system. You can choose this. But if you're gonna be connecting your hard drive to Windows for editing later on, then select the XFAT. So make sure it is selected XFAT because XFAT will work on both Apple and Windows. But if you do the APFS, then it won't work on the Windows. So just want to make sure that you do that. So now the hard drive is directed and this is the sleek setup now. Let's go to the, we can, cannot go to the camera app. You have to go to the Final Cut camera app or Blackmagic. So let me show you first the Final Cut camera app. And you can see at the top that it is showing HEVC 4K 30 FPS. You just tap on that and then you will have this menu showing up. All you have to do is go to high efficiency video codec, which is internal recording. That would be great. But for external, now you can unlock Apple ProRes, ProRes RAW, or ProRes RAW HQ. ProRes RAW HQ is the highest file size you can get out of the ProRes RAW, but that is the higher bit rate. I don't think so. We'll have to push it to that limit. I will just stay with the ProRes RAW. And you can see that the setting changed now to ProRes open gate open gate is higher resolution where it will give you the advantage to get the vertical and horizontal both which is perfect for the content creators and social media use you can have the video in the horizontal and then you can take out the vertical from it so you can see that if you do 17 9 that's the wide aspect ratio i will not use that i will use the open gate and then you have the frame rate to choose from you can go up to 
60 FPS. If you're a filmmaker, you will probably stick to 24 FPS. But then if you are gonna be doing slow motion, then 60 FPS is a good idea. Then you can slow it down to 30 or 24 FPS to match your timeline. And then at the bottom, it is by default is off, which is the LUT. You can see how it is grayed out because it is in the log format. So in order to see what you're gonna be getting in the post when the product is final, to preview that, you can go here in the LUT preview and you can select log to, to SDR or log to, to HDR. So now this is depending on what kind of output do you need. If you want the SDR, Rec. 709 without HDR video, that's gonna be your final product, then select that. It's gonna show you preview like this. But if you're gonna be exporting your content in the HDR format, you are doing travel, travel vlogging, and you are shooting nature and you want to show that high dynamic range then go with log to hdr so that's about it and now you can just go and start recording let me show you the file sizes so i'm recording right now in the 4k prores raw and i'm gonna shoot just basically about like 10 seconds and show you what file size you're expecting so i recorded this video for just 10 seconds now Let's go and find out what's the file size. So I'm going to go into the files and in the files you have my hard drive name is iPhone EXT because of external storage. I keep it simple. And in the folders, this is the video I just recorded. So I'm going to hold this for a bit and then go to info. Here you go. You can see that we just recorded about 10 seconds of the video and the file size is 756 megabyte almost one gigabyte if I would have gone another second or two. So this outrageous amount of storage that you need to record, you really need external storage. You don't want to do it on internal. So going with a 256 GB phone and then external two terabyte would be a great idea. Now let's get into the Black Magic camera app and show you what's going on there. So now we are in the Black Magic camera app and here we're going to be changing the settings to go into the 4K ProRes RAW. So you're gonna tap on the setting and you can see here it says codec 264, H264 is less compressed than you have H265 high efficiency codec. But here, since I have the hard drive connected and it says the required external storage for the Apple ProRes RAW and ProRes RAW HQ, you can just select either of them. And then even Blackmagic camera takes it to another level. You can select the bit rate so low would be uh, would give you the lower file sizes i don't know how i why i cannot tap on that actually you cannot once you select the prores raw it's in the highest capacity possible i guess because it's not letting me select it probably it's going to be enabled at some point later it's only available for hevc that i can actually select but if it is in prores the bitrate is limited. I thought it would give you the idea, but I think you can just choose between Apple ProRes RAW and ProRes RAW HQ, and that will give you highest bitrate. I think it's doing it at its will. It was at high, it's max, but it's not letting me tap on this at all. So maybe they will fix it at a later point, but uh, I'll just keep it to ProRes RAW and go back to the camera. And you can see that it is showing you in the log color setting. So this is grayed out. And also there is the uh, histogram here shows you if you are overexposed, underexposed. And the um, the microphone meter here, it actually is really more in depth if you are shooting with the Blackmagic camera application. So I would be using it um, a lot because of the control that it gives you. But that's about it, you have to do and it's ready. But if you wanna see the LUT, you will just go at the bottom here and you will select which LUT you want. It is off right now, but you can turn it on. And that's how you have the final result gonna be like this. But when you're viewing it in your computer, it's gonna look like this. So you'll have to convert the uh, raw to log and then log to Rec. 709 or whichever your output is gonna be like. So that's about it. This is how you record in 4K Pro Res Raw. I hope I earned your subscription. And this is my small rig that I, I set up and it's pretty sturdy. The hard drive is not going anywhere. I tried to do it, it's still connected. If I go in the file setting, the file showing and the hard drive stays connected. It is right here, iPhone EXT. So that's about it. See you in another one. Until then, peace out.